Hey friends, Mindy here. I have a flip through for you today. This is my completed journal for Pure and Heart from By the Well for God. I have a process video showing how I set up this traveler's notebook for this journal, but I just added on this little closure. It's just a little tie, a ribbon tied around there just to kind of keep it closed because as you can see, it's gotten quite chunky. So I'm just going to go through here really quickly. There wasn't a whole lot of really uh, in-depth kind of processes this month. We November was just so busy for me that um, it was really all I could do just to get all my notes in here. So um, this first page is just the paper that I included. I just really loved this paper. So day one actually starts here and I use a lot of the ephemera pieces to just create pockets to hold the notes. So I have um, my flashcards in here and little scripture card and then over here on this side I have one of the beautiful journaling cards they're so beautiful they really act almost as their own focal image so um, everything is really just kind of the paper and everything just real super simple on day two we're talking about the Sermon on the Mount so it was really important to me for this particular devotional to have all of the Beatitudes listed out so I went through here and wrote all of them out and just kind of added this as a tip in on this page and then um, created just a little scene here and then I have a little pocket on this side with some extra scriptures here this is from the Sermon on the Mount and then just a little flashcard I wanted to make sure I had that with that other verse in there so um, that is day two. Day three, I again, this is one of my favorite papers, I think, from this month. And so I used that here and just kind of wrapped it over onto this page. And then I put a glassine envelope here to hold all of my journaling cards, flashcards, and everything. And then I used a tag for the title for that day. I did use the same numbers all the way throughout and the title starter stickers um, to kind of keep every day cohesive. These were the Bethlehem numbers stamp set. Um, I really just love the distressed large numbers. They're just a lot of fun. I believe I have a process video for this for day four. Um, I have some texture paste here in the background and then I just created a little pocket with these items for some notes on this side and they just tuck in here and then I used one of the file folders and I wrapped it around this kind of half sheet of paper and that just holds some of the other flashcards. And then it works the same for day five. I just have some tucked in there. And then I have this little flip out part because this was my other favorite paper. So I just added a couple of the flashcards here. And then I have another pocket here with some more notes. And this was actually an old, by the well, stencil that I pulled from my stash to use for this day for day five. And then I just added an ephemera piece just for some interest because this paper, I don't know if you can see it, but it has the Beatitudes written in the background there. So um, day six is a process video I have. This is the one where my husband did the voiceover. Uh, if you haven't listened to it, it's pretty funny. Um, but I will link my playlist for Pure and Heart down below. I just created a vellum pocket here. I used a napkin in the background for the texture and the kind of focal image back there or the background. And then um, I have another file folder with my flashcards and just lots of little places for pockets there. This is day seven. You can kind of see it's hidden here. Um, and then again, it's that just beautiful paper. So I just created a side tuck pocket where I have um, my notes over here. And then just so I would know, I put little fabric pulls on there so you'd know to kind of pull those out. And then behind this image I have some of the little flashcards. Day eight is for the peacemaker so it's this half of this page and then again I just created a little scene here and I tucked my flashcards behind this little house and then this was one of the journaling cards so I used one of the little paint chip cards and created a little tuck spot for that piece right there and I just made this kind of wrap over into this page just so you'd know that all of this went together so that was day eight. Day nine, This I had this paper in the middle of um, this journal when I created it specifically for this idea and I just created little side pockets on both sides for all of my notes because I didn't really want to cut into this image. So you can see I have all of these journaling cards and flashcards and everything just kind of tucked in there and then I just added strips of um, pattern paper back behind there. Um, 
and I just really loved this and so I didn't I didn't want to to cut into it or anything so it's just right in the center of this journal day 10 I kind of created another little scene here with some of the papers and then kind of tucked my notes back behind the elements in there so I have a journaling card and all the flashcards are over here with all of those notes and then just a little ephemera piece here day 11 I had um, I didn't have a whole lot of notes for day 11 so I just used the back side of this one little half sheet here and just a file folder that from the kit and then I just tucked in my little notes right there. And then day 12, and this is at the point where I was just really trying to get all my notes into this journal because um, like I said, November has just been crazy busy. We were out of town three weekends in a row and just crazy stuff. So um, again, I just did a simple, simple background with the pattern paper, created a pocket and then all of my notes and things from the scriptures uh, from the devotional are just tucked away in that pocket. That's for day 12. Day 13, I used this paper when I created this background. I just wrapped it around onto this side because it's obviously wider than my traveler's notebook and that just created a pocket here. So I glued that as a pocket. I used this ephemera piece for my number and then I have this kind of hanging on some of the um, burlap pieces that came in the kit and then I have that stencil in the background. And then that just creates a little pocket here. And then I use that same paper on this side to create a pocket for this other journaling card there. And then day 14, again, just kind of did the same exact thing. I just created a little pocket over here for my flashcards. And then these kind of had long um, amounts of scripture that would obviously not fit on the back of the flashcards. So I have them over here on the journaling cards and I took this pattern paper and I just kind of cut along here with an X-Acto knife and then I glued the top section down and the just the very bottom so I could create a little tuck spot like kind of behind these leaves. And then this has all of those notes that I couldn't fit on the back of those flashcards and then they just tuck in in there. And that is it for me for Pure in Heart. I am still working through the little scripture card book because I'm using that as a um, gratitude for the month of November. Um, so when I'm finished with that, I will do a flip through of that as well. Um, but this is my journal for the devotional Pure in Heart. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye!